We're gonna start with just a little bit of driving today. Um, I just got this new cart. Um, it's not new, it's used, but it's nice enough that uh, I was just gonna use it as a training cart, but gee, my knee. It hasn't been used but like three times, so anyway. Um, this is Levi, Bo is in the barn screaming. And like I said, we'll do some driving today. Um, mostly what you're gonna have to work on is your transitions going from a walk to a trot back down to a walk whoa and um, one of the main things I hate about harnesses and I don't know if Marty can zoom in on this or not and I'll be changing this but this leather strap is supposed to go through this leather piece and what that does is when this goes through, it holds it tight. So if this becomes offset, then your horse's head is cranked. And here you're in the show arena and your horse's head's cranked and you can't do anything about it because of this. So what I'm trying, and I, this is not what I'm gonna use, but I'm trying this out. Somehow I'm gonna get some brass pieces to match his harness. And I'm gonna make it go through this ring so it can, it can pull back and forth and adjust as he's moving and he can adjust it back and forth too. So that's what I'm trying right now. Um, I just pretty well just harnessed him up and maybe I can do a video too of how I harness and why I harness that way. Um, and as you notice, all my straps, all of them are loose. I, when I'm practicing, I never put them all the way through because if I need to get out and readjust, I can readjust quick and it doesn't take me too long. So I leave them all loose. Um, like I said also, with Mojo and with all my horses, we always take our time. I never have a header. First of all, because Marty can't go to all the shows with me. And sometimes there's not enough people to be there to head for me. So I always teach my horses to stand and just, I just tell them, whoa, and they better just stand there. And if you have to work all day on just whoa and standing, then guess what? That's, that's what we'll do for a whole week till they learn. But, whoa. Just go ahead, whoa. Get in your cart and then just, whoa, and just sit here. Not used to this cart at all. As you notice, there's different size carts. This has got a real shallow basket. My other basket's a real deep basket. Um, so this is gonna be something for me to have to get used to. I'm, I don't even know how I'm gonna put my legs in here, so we'll figure it out. Um, how I hold my reins is I take my thumbs like this, and then I twist over is what I do, okay? And then I have my rein, that, my rein is gonna be on my thumbs, and I'm gonna twist over. So now it's pointing down like so. So what happens is I can use my fingers. I can hold my reins with my thumb and my pointy finger, and I use these fingers to open and close. Now, like I said, Mojo is gonna be the Western pleasure horse. He's a country. I might end up trying to make him go Western. I don't know, we'll see, it because I'll watch this video. So anyway, what you're gonna do is, I'm used to holding my hands up here. I'm trying to get it, and this is real weird in this cart, I'm trying to get it where my hands are gonna come back like this. I don't know if that's gonna work because I'm used to having them up like so. Whatever's more comfortable for you, that, that's great. So anyway, whenever you're wanting to walk, you're gonna give the horse their name, Mojo or Levi Walk is what you're gonna do, and you're gonna cluck. Now, whenever I make him go, he's gonna jerk because he's not just like you're gonna learn with uh, Mojo. They have to learn how to do that transition real smooth. So you'll see that whenever we're doing this video. Levi, walk, walk. Levi, whoa. Levi, walk. And you'll just wanna walk and whoa and walk and whoa. Levi, good boy, good boy. And that's what you're gonna wanna do. Good boy, good boy, Mojo, good boy. Until he sits there and listens to you. And 
You just want to keep talking, Levi. Walk. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You always want to make sure there's at least one ear listening to you at all times is what you want to do. Now, when I just made that turn, all I did was barely close my inside fingers on these reins. And they're real light. So it doesn't take very much at all. And also, to get a horse to feel, you're going to kind of grab their mouth a little bit. And I just barely cluck to him, and I'm kind of holding the reins a little tighter with my fingers until he wants to drop his head. No. Walk. Good boy. And when he starts to drop his head and push into that bit, don't let go of your fingers, but let out of your fingers a little bit. And that teaches them to get their head down and to have their neck, their neck flat is what it does. Now I'm gonna go ahead and ask him to trot. And it, like I said, his transitions are not good, so we are working on that. Levi, trot. And you can either go around the full arena or I just like to, you know, do circles here and turns there. Because going around and around is kind of boring for them. And in a Western pleasure, you want them to go real easy. Mojo can go easier than this. Um, I haven't ever seen Levi on a video with me, so I don't know what it looks like. Um, and then whenever you want him to go faster, all you do is just kiss some more. Right. 